The first time I competed, it was tough, and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I thought, man, this is really hard. And uh, I stuck it out, and then I just kept going. I was like, no, I love to train. I love this stuff. And so there was, there was times where I was like, man, I just want to throw in the towel. And, and I didn't. And I'm so thankful that I didn't because, I mean, gosh, look, look where we're at now. Hi, baby girl. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I want to do it with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so this is a bit different than what you normally see on the YouTube channel. Normally, we're bringing you training content, um, but we figured we'd do something different today. And since we're 26 days out from prejudging of the 2023 Olympia, I figured that um, we could dive a little bit more into like my mindset and where I am at mentally. Um, a lot of people have been asking. I've had a lot of people call me and message me and and uh just ask me how i'm doing which is which thank you for everybody that's done that and um <clears throat> i think it's good that we share it and it looks like we set this up with nala sitting here i'll be honest with you she re rarely jumps up into my lap i mean she'll she'll lay with me on the recliner but uh i don't know she's like dad's 26 days out he needs some love or something so dog. she is an emotional support dog but anyway, this is different, guys. Um, excited to bring you this content. And Trevor has a few questions that he's going to ask me. I think that's uh, maybe a bit more appropriate than me just trying to pull something out of my head. So um, between the questions that you you know we've seen you guys have in the comments, or whether it be questions that you that I've had um, sent to me, or just I get asked on the regular, or questions that you know Trevor actually has for me too so we're, i'm gonna have trevor trevor ask me a few questions that i don't even know what he's gonna ask so all right we'll start it off with how do you feel being 26 days out from the olympia and how is this year different compared to the previous years of competing um i'm excited i'm very very excited like i'm getting more anxious every day i'll be honest uh it's uh it's it's coming up fast man normally in the past this is when the prep kind of comes to a screeching halt and every day is slow. Like it takes like one day feels like a week, but actually for some reason this year, it's been just rolling by, you know, I, I have, um, one more trip I'm taking tomorrow. So the next three days are going to blow by really fast. And then we're going to be three weeks out. So, um, so yeah, I mean, this year is different because I had a full year knowing that I'm in the open coming off of a second place Olympia finish. You know, I, I nearly won the Mr. Olympia last year, making history as the first two division Olympia champion didn't happen. And I know that I wasn't at my best. So given another full year, uh, to focus on making the right improvements, uh, I'm confident in, in the improvements that I've made. And as far as the prep is going this year is, is actually like much smoother. And I think it will continue to do that every year that I, I work with Hani. Cause this is, this is year number three, uh, or, you know, competition number three that I'm doing with, with Hani. We did the 212 Olympia when I won in 2021. That was the first time. So getting to know his way of coaching me as an athlete, having to make the weight cap, there was some challenges in that. Uh, we learned a tremendous amount that first year. Last year, we hit some adversity and continued to <clears throat> learn one another and develop a, a stronger bond and relationship. This year, we uh, we understand each other tremendously better. Like, I understand what he wants as a coach. He understands me as an athlete. He understands how my body's responding to certain foods and, and <clears throat> you know, giving me, you know, cues and tips for my training. And just this year has been actually uh, up to right now because we still have 26 days been the smoothest prep i've ever had so i don't want to um i don't want to act like it's not been challenging it's been there's been some very hard days there's been some very challenging physical and mental physically and mentally challenging days um but that's to be expected because this is you know this is not just a bodybuilding competition this is the mr olympia you know, this is to be the best in the world. So uh, bodybuilding, you know, on the NPC level, 
is it's it's not for everybody it's not easy you can't just spin like six or eight weeks getting ready for a show even on the npc level and expect to you know dominate and or or win or whatever i mean maybe you can but if you're if you're in good enough shape but if it's your first time you, you got to spend months and years of um training and dieting and preparing you know for uh even the local level even the national level when you get to the mr olympia level i mean that's the that's the best in the world so um you know like i said there's there's definitely going to be challenging times physically and mentally and that's why i have to call on a higher power which is you know my lord and savior jesus christ i have to that's that's one thing i want to mention too i know i'm i'm talking a lot i'm rambling but um i am thankful for the challenging times the struggles because it it lets me realize how much i need god in my life and when things are comfortable and easy and you know things are going well and there's not as much challenge we tend to want to just take life into our our control in our hands and yeah we know god's there oh thank you god for blessing me but when it's when you're really going through it when it when it's really challenging um it 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 forces you to say hey i i need you god you know or at least for me you know and so uh, I'm, I look at this prep and every show from here on out as a uh, as an opportunity to to grow closer to you know my Lord and Savior and and um, you know and this prep is different because in years past um, when I first started bodybuilding I wanted to be I wanted to be recognized. I wanted I wanted all the the worldly stuff that came with being the champion. I wanted everybody to see that I was I was the best and I wanted the you know good contracts and I wanted you know people to know who I was all around the world and and now it's it's do I want those things? Sure, that's those are nice. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's like now I pray every day, Lord I just want to be a vessel for you. I want to be nothing more than a vessel for you. You know, I pray that, you know, I, re I rebuke the, um, the sinful worldly nature of, you know, me being vain or greedy or uh, prideful or boastful. You know, like those things can creep up on you, you know, especially when you're getting some hype or whatever. So it's one of those things where, you know, you can look at yourself in the mirror and go, wow, like what a physique, like look at me. But instead I think to myself, like, Lord, thank you for this opportunity, this, this calling, this platform you've given me and I want to use it for you and I want to draw closer and I want to draw nearer to you. Um, because I love you and I'm thankful for my life and I'm I'm grateful for the many blessings that you've given me. So um, you're asking to wrap up, to, to bring it full circle. You're asking how this year is going compared to last year. It's a lot of it has been the mindset. A lot of it's been the minds, a lot of it's maturing in general. A lot of it's um, understanding the process of bodybuilding and the relationship with Hani and me growing closer in my marriage uh, with Jelson us having the baby on the way um, all those things have contributed to me um, having a better prep this year but leaning into god is the number one thing yeah, yeah. working with Hani for the third year he knows mm -hmm. your body better you you know how him as a coach better you guys have built that relationship so that makes it easier your mindset as far as you have your relationship closer with god and then your relationship with jelson yeah so three of those so i feel like for someone out there yeah kind of take that as advice like well i always say it's it's mind body and spirit and when you when you mature spiritually then you're able to mature in all those other areas yeah. you know you want to eat healthier you don't want to make the the simple mistakes of adding condiments to your food that makes you feel like garbage or having an extra 
caffeine drink that actually makes you feel terrible instead of giving you energy. Um, mentally, you're, you have a better attitude and you're more focused. So <clears throat> when you grow spiritually, then you're able to grow and mature in those other areas too. And remembering that God is number one in your life and living out his like the calling and purpose that he gave you instead of like, what do I want? Well, what did God have for me? And I believe this is what God had for me in my life. So that gives me strength. It gives me confidence. And then knowing that my wife is, is number two to God. Like, so basically it's, it's God spouse and then family loved ones. Right. And, and now we have a baby on the way. So it's like, um, if you can put those things in order, um, and, and here's another thing too, though. Thank God I have a, such an amazing wife. Like she is by far the biggest blessing that is in my life, her and this child. Because if I didn't have such a supportive wife, then this would be very, very difficult. There's so many things that you guys don't see that she does for me that she doesn't expect anything in return she doesn't expect recognition she she's not even in the youtube videos hardly ever because she's just like nah i'm just gonna do me and i'm like I'm, i try to encourage her to be in the youtube videos more and stuff and i'm sure she will be but it's like she just she just does it because she loves me and what a blessing like that is like i it, it, bodybuilding can be selfish very much so, especially while you're prepping. And so it's, um, there's a time where she really like steps up in our marriage and really helps me out because like I said, this isn't easy. And then whenever I, I do have like an off season, that's the time that, you know, I need to give her and show her love, but that's another conversation. Um, um actually that was rolling into one of the other questions. You've kind of touched a little bit oh, okay. on each one, but that was going to ask you, um, Jocelyn being pregnant, mm -hmm. how has that changed this prep? And then how do you, how do you handle relationships being on prep? Well, thankfully she is a tough woman. She is going to be a, an amazing mother. So she's, she's tough and she, uh, she does well, well for herself. And do I do things for her? Absolutely. I, I, I show her that I love her in, in different ways and do things for her as well. But, um, I, I actually thought that, that having this baby would add stress to this prep and, and potentially our marriage, but it actually did the exact opposite. It, it gave us both peace and joy and true fulfillment in life. And it, it's kind of been a bit of a distraction to the prep in a way. It's like, yes, the Olympia is, is on my mind. It's coming up first but right behind the Olympia, we're having this baby. So, you know, we're getting the house ready and we're just getting very excited to have our first child after being together for 12 and a half years, almost 13 years. So though I thought it was gonna be maybe hindering to the prep, it's actually, I think, been a benefit because not only has it brought us peace and joy and, so, and excitement, but also, like I said, it's actually brought us closer in our marriage. So we've kind of both stepped up for one another. And so, you know, like I said, we've been together for so long. She's been through every prep I've ever been through. She understands, you know, how it is. So she stepped up as a, as a wife and mother. And I feel like I've stepped up as a, uh, as a husband and a, and a father to be. Chelsea's in prep right now also. Yeah, she's doing this and I'm doing that. Just slightly different prep. Yeah. All right. We're counting the weeks on both. Funny question. Okay. Have you made any unexpected purchases on this prep? There have been a lot of purchases, but uh, I was going to say nothing too big, but I did, I did actually. So when my, when my car broke down that day, mm -hmm. uh, it encouraged me to start looking at vehicles again. And um, well, this is a thing, Trev, like you remember, like I was going to buy a vehicle prior yeah. specifically an escalade yeah. esv sport blah 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 and i almost pulled the trigger on it so many times there's there's even one that i literally was about to go drive to get it 
And let's just say I didn't because I was like, you know, I'm not like that. I, don't, I like my car. I don't need new things. I would like to eventually get something bigger because we're having a, a child and it'd be nice to have something bigger because I'm growing actually. So anyway, I thought, no, let's just wait till after prep. And this was even before I started prep that I was thinking about getting a car. Yeah. And uh, when the car broke down, I was like, maybe this is a sign from God that I need to like start looking. So I looked online and literally there was like three perfect matches. And then this one that I was like, wow, this is going to be $30,000 cheaper than the one I was going to buy. There you go. Literally, dude. And I was just like, God put it right there in front of my face and was like, you can't pass this up. And then the person I bought it from, I actually, he, he knew me from the gym and he had actually taken my update video one time a few years back. So it was like a, this weird connection. It was just like, God was just like, yep, this one's for you. So I normally don't make big purchases during prep. I just feel like you need to like keep your money where it's at and not not do that. But this was something that her and I had already talked about, something that we were gonna do after the Olympia anyway. There's no way I would have found this deal after the Olympia. There, this was like a one of one purchase. So I was like, I have to do it. So I did make that big purchase. But as far as all these other purchases, it's like, I buy stuff that I need. I, I buy an abundance of things that I use on a regular basis. So like if I need shampoo, I'll buy like, several bottles of shampoo or like soap or like like i like the shoes i bought like four pairs of shoes but it's stuff that i know i'm gonna use or or that i need and then i just start like making sure that i ha I, I have everything like i like to have an abundance of everything that i know i'm gonna use or need or whatever so to kind of wrap everything up if someone watching right now is on prep or about to start prep what advices would you give to them well, you've committed to a goal, right? And you need to follow through and finish. So easy that you can back out or throw in the towel. Um, unless there is like s something going on where it's medical or whether it's, you know, true family, something, crisis, whatever. Um, if it's just you because you're like, ah, I don't know, this is hard. Stick it out. You're, you're going to regret it if you don't. And you're going to be you're going to be so happy that you finished and followed through. Like you're going to have so much more confidence in yourself. You're going to um, remember this experience that you've had. It's going to be lifelong, lifelong memory. If it's your first time and you're like, I hate this and I don't ever want to do it again, just do it. And then that's it. You don't have to ever do it again. But then again, you know, I was kind of like that too. I, I, the first time I competed, it was tough and I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I thought, man, this is really hard. And uh, I stuck it out and then I just kept going. I was like, no, I love to train. I love this stuff. And so there was, there was times where I was like, man, I just want to throw in the towel. And, and I didn't. And I'm so thankful that I didn't because, I mean, gosh, look, look where we're at now. You know, imagine if I would have ever just, imagine that first year I said, um, I, I'm not going to stick it out. Or like after this show, I'm, I'm done. You know, no, I mean, I think it's kind of like having like a cheat meal, right? Like when you're on prep and you're like, oh man, me, it's different now. Like I'm so focused. I could, I don't need it. I don't need food to, that doesn't please me. But back when I first started, it was like, oh, I can't wait to have a cheat meal. Right. And, uh, you feel like you're never going to get those, those foods again, those, those, your favorite foods. Um, but I assure you there will come a day when you can freely have it. I mean, you can freely have it today too, but the thing is, it's like, it's not a forever thing. It's temporary. And just like this prep. So, you know, it's a temporary pain, a temporary struggle, d temporary challenge that when you see it through, um, like I said, you're going to have so much more confidence and it's such a character builder. This is use this as an opportunity to build your character and, and become stronger from within and uh you know and and do your very best to enjoy the process maybe you're not the type of person that wants to throw on the towel maybe you're the type of person that really embraces this struggle and challenge so then you know i encourage you to to really try to be as present as you possibly can that's something else that i pray every day is lord uh, you know um i pray that i can be more joyful in every present moment under all circumstances. So whether it's, you know, somebody cut me off or the traffic's slow or 
whatever, like I'm, I'm struggling today or for whatever reason I'm being challenged, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, um, allow, like I said, every prep to shape and mold me from within to become a better person, be able to handle situations better. And, and if you can do that, there's a lot that bodybuilding can really do for your life. It can radically change who you are for the better. So yeah, we have to oh, we do it. the giveaway. So we got to pick two giveaways. So Trevor, pop it up here. <laughs> Congratulations to the two winners. Appreciate you guys uh, being subscribed to the channel, commenting on the one of our previous videos that we were doing the giveaway. And um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. We have a lot more content coming, a lot more training footage and something really, really special coming up for the week of the Olympia. So a lot of really awesome content coming. I promise you guys. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for Dallas. I'm going to meet up with Hadi and Hani. We're going to do a couple days of training, and then I'll be back, and I'm here until the Olympia. And the Olympia is a short drive from Tampa to Orlando. So, um, like I said, a lot of great content coming. Subscribe, please, if you haven't. Um, appreciate all you guys' support. If you guys want to pick up the merch at DerekLinsford.com, link is below. Also, if you want to sign up for coaching, whether it be my wife or myself and Connor, we can go to uc-fit.com, ucfit to sign up with Connor, or you can go to fitwithgel.com and sign up with Jelson, uh, who does coaching also. All the links to my sponsors are below, Evagen Nutrition, Mega Fit Meals, Gas and Better Bodies, Tough Wraps, Protan, all of them are below with codes to save money. And uh, until next time, guys. Actually, it doesn't happen very often where she jumps up in my arms. So it's going to look like we like set it up this way. <laughs> She's loose. I mean, she, she comes and lays with me on the recliner, but she usually doesn't jump up in a chair like this too much with me. She's like, dad's 26 days out. He needs some love. <laughs>